The Forge camo in Modern Warfare 3 is the equivalent of the Platinum camo or the Diamond camo in older games. You have to unlock gold on all three snipers in Modern Warfare 3 and then complete an additional challenge to get the Forged camo. Unfortunately, there's a silly unlock system in this game that we have to deal with if you want to unlock all three snipers. Once you reach level 25 in-game, you have access to armory unlocks. This new system allows you to unlock weapons throughout the game, so if a weapon is locked by the armory unlock, then you have to complete some challenges to unlock that weapon. You can no longer unlock it just by leveling up in game. So let's do a crash course on how it works. To unlock anything in the armory, you have to complete daily challenges. Depending on what you're trying to unlock, you may have more or less challenges to complete. Where can you find your daily challenges? In your challenges tab, there's three in multiplayer, three in zombies, so there's six total. You're thinking right now, that's stupid. There's a lot in the armory section to unlock, and if I only get six challenges a day from multiplayer and zombies, it's gonna take a long time to unlock everything. However, once you completed all three of your multiplayer challenges, you can then get extra challenges completed. All you have to do is win matches. For each match you win, that's another completion towards whatever you're trying to unlock. In this case, it's the longbow and KV inhibitor sniper rifles because the CAT AMR is the only one that you unlock via level. Really annoying, but it's what we have to do to unlock all three weapons. Now that we have all three sniper rifles, we can finally level them up to unlock weapon challenges. There is a bunch of different ways people are grinding XP in the game right now. The fastest way that I found to level up is to hop in the war game mode, pop a double weapon XP token, and play throughout the match. You don't have to do extremely well, of course. The better you do, the more XP that you'll get. But on average, I was getting 12 weapon levels per game, which isn't bad. I also stay in the war game mode to do camo challenges. Just the way that the mode plays, it's great for snipers. The Cat AMR, Longbow, and KV Inhibitor all share the same four base camo challenges. Unlocking the four camos is extremely easy. I completed all of these camo challenges without even focusing on doing the exact challenges. So here's what they are. You have to get 50 kills with each sniper rifle. Not even a problem, you don't have to think about it. You have to get 50 kills shortly after aiming down sight, which most people know as quickscoping. As long as you're getting a kill up to three seconds after you've aimed down sight, your kills count towards this challenge. The next one is three kills with a single magazine 10 times. If you played Modern Warfare 2 and did camo challenges on that game, this is basically three kills in a single life 10 times, just made a little bit more difficult because now not only can you not die, you have to do it within a single magazine. If you're struggling with this challenge, you should run a magazine with the highest ammo capacity. Of, of course, it's a no brainer. The more ammo that you have, the more mistakes you can make and the easier these three kills in a single magazine become. The final challenge, which is really easy for snipers. It's 15 one shot kills. That's come on, guys, we're using sniper rifles here. Regardless of which sniper you're using, as long as you're hitting upper body or headshots, it's going to be a one shot kill and you only need 15 of them. The cat AMR specifically one shot kills in most places. The longbow and KV inhibitor do tend to get hit markers from time to time. Of course, upper body headshots, you'll always be getting one shot kills. However, if you're really frustrated and having a tough time, if you go into any hardcore game mode, the health is so low, you're going to get one shot kills with snipers, even if you're shooting them in their feet. Now that we've completed the four base camos on all weapons, we can move to the mastery challenges. To unlock the gilded camo, which is gold, it's the gold camo. Don't know why they changed the name. Regardless, all three snipers share the same challenge once again. Get 10 kills while focused. That's it. Really simple. Aim down sight, use whatever keybind or button that you have mapped out to hold your breath and focus, and get 10 kills. That's all you need. And it's not even that hard, too. You just need 10 of them. And with snipers, as long as you're holding your breath, you can pretty much quick scope, hold your breath, get the kill, and move on. And the final challenge to get the forged camo, here's where the challenges actually differ from one another. With the CAT AMR, you gotta get 15 penetration kills. I know what you're thinking. That sounds pretty hot. What you have to do is get 15 kills while shooting through some form of object which can be walls or debris. The CAT AMR does one shot in the vast majority of circumstances, and that's no different from bullet penetration kills. As simple as possible, to see if you can actually shoot through some form of object or cover, take a test shot. 
if you see your bullet trail through the other side, you know it works. Now, all you have to do is find a nice angle on whatever cover you have chosen. It doesn't matter what map you're on. For me personally, this mattress in the second story of Skid Row worked perfectly. I did all my bullet penetration kills here. I got right up close whenever an enemy would come down the corridor or hallway. Make sure that you line them up so that the object that you're shooting through is between you and them, and you shoot and you get the kill. Really easy. Also, if you're struggling with this method, to make things even easier, if you're on a map with windows and they haven't been broken yet, you can shoot through them to get bullet penetration kills. Of course, when the window breaks, you can't do it with that specific window anymore. But if you are struggling with penetration kills, that's an easier way to get this challenge done. For the longbow, you have to get 25 kills while ADS and fully loaded. The description isn't super clear what's going on here. You have to be, of course, aim down sight, and you have to have a full magazine. Some people may interpret fully loaded as not only is your magazine being full, but you having a full reserve of ammo as well. That doesn't matter. It's just your magazine. Every time you shoot, you need to reload to have your magazine at full capacity. If you hit marker an enemy or miss your shot and want to finish this camo as fast as possible, you have to reload between every time you shoot. If you make a lot of mistakes, you'll die a lot and it does get frustrating. But just like one shot kills, you can go to hardcore and guarantee easy kills so you don't have to worry about hit markers. Of course, you can still miss the enemy. At least this time, you should not be getting hit markers whatsoever. To finish things off, the KV inhibitor requires 25 headshots to get the forged camo. Super simple. Aim for the head, shoot, done. That's how to get the forged camo on all three snipers in Modern Warfare 3. Of course, I'll have a pinned comment down below if there's any changes regarding the camo grind, whether that's camo challenges, unlock challenges, or XP methods to level up your weapons as fast as possible, I'll have that updated there. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.